hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have t minus 1 divided by t plus 1 is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of t and at the last we will verify that uh, uh, which values or which roots of t are solution and which are roots of t are extraneous root also we explain the term extraneous root at the end so please watch till we, uh, the video uh, at the end uh, also we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here we move uh, towards the first method and now here in the first method in order to find the value of t we just uh, rationalize the left hand side so in order to rationalize the left hand side uh, you very well know about that how to rationalize uh, the term uh, so in order to rationalize the term uh, we just change the sign of the denominator and we will multiply and divide by here okay so you get here t minus 1 divided by t minus 1 and it is equals to 1 only and now here we need to uh, multiply the terms and uh, when we multiply t minus 1 with t minus 1 because these are the two same terms so it will become here t minus 1 whole square it is divided by here we have this is t plus 1 into t minus 1 so in the denominator we use here the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b according to this uh, algebraic formula uh, we combine these two factors here and in the numerator term we use here another algebraic formula you know about that if we have a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square so here we need uh, these two formulas uh, in which uh, this formula we apply here the numerator term and this formula we applied here the denominator term and this is equals to 1 okay so when you apply this formula here it will be written as t square minus 2 times of t into 1 plus 1 square is divided by here we need to combine these two terms and it will be written as t square minus 1 is equals to 1 only so uh, further in the next step uh, we move these terms to the right hand side and you see here t square minus 1 is divided by here when we move into the right hand side it, it will be multiplied by 1 so after moving this to the right hand side it will become t square minus 2t plus this one square equals to 1 and this will become t square minus 1 so further in the next step uh, we um, move you see here this t square term is cancelled out by this t square and we will get here minus 2t plus 1 is equals to minus 1 and now further in the next step we move the constant terms to the right hand side for this we move plus 1 to the right hand side and when we move plus 1 to the right hand side it will become minus 1 and we get here minus 1 minus 1 becomes minus 2 and here we have minus 2t so further we need to divide both of the sides by minus 2 when we divide both of the sides by minus 2 it will be written as this minus 2 is cancelled out by this minus 2 this is cancelled out by this and we will get here t is equals to plus 1 so this is the uh, one root of the given equation which we get here from first method and now in the next step we need to verify this root and we check that is this root is satisfied our given question statement or not so for verification of the root we need to copy down given question statement here it is t minus 1 divided by t plus 1 is equals to 1 this is the our given question statement and here we verify the root t is equals to 1 
So when we put this value into the left hand side, uh, our left hand side is written as 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 is equals to 1 and this implies that 1 minus 1 becomes here 0 divided by 1 plus 1 equals to 2 and this whole equation is equals to 1. So further in the next step you see here 0 divided by 2 is equals to 0 equals to 1. So this shows that 0 is not equals to 1, it is not possible. This means that the value of t is equals to 1 is not satisfied over this given question statement. So this means that the t equals to 1 is not the solution of the given equation. Uh, so, we just say that t is equals to 1 be the extraneous root of the given equation. So, uh, you very well know about the extraneous root. I can just little bit explain about that. The extraneous roots are those roots who said who does not satisfied our given question statement is called the extraneous roots and the roots that is satisfied uh, to the given question statement is called the solution of that given equation okay so here we cannot have any root which satisfied our given question statement this means that uh, this given equation has no solution okay so our final conclusion is that our given equation has no solution so uh, here we again solve this problem uh, into the second method uh, and I hope so uh, you like uh, this method as well. So in second method first we need to copy down given question statement here it is t minus 1 divided by t plus 1 is equals to 1. So here in the second method we move t plus 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as t minus 1 is equals to t plus 1 and you see here we move the variable terms in the left hand side so this plus t becomes here minus t this minus 1 becomes here plus 1 this minus 1 we move toward the right hand side then it will becomes plus 1. So t minus t becomes here 0 or in other words these two are cancelled out by each other and we have 1 plus 1 becomes 2. This shows that 0 is not equals to 2 uh, so it is not possible. So finally we conclude that in second method uh, this question statement has uh, no solution. So uh, this is the, our final conclusion about this problem in the second method. So both of these methods we will get here the same answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.